Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you the Revolution Pro Rockstar Collection. Are we ready? So this is what the outer packaging looks like for it. So this is £25 so you get two eyeshadow palettes in here and an eyeliner as well. A liquid eyeliner so I'm going to be showing you the products and I'm going to be showing you how to do this makeup look I have used only one of the palettes but stay tuned for part two in my next video and I'll be showing you the other palette I hope you enjoy this video if you do then please remember to smash the like button and subscribe down below as well because we're at nearly 200 subscribers we're almost at 200 subscribers that is incredible so thank you so much for your support and sticking around but yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So this is the Revolution Pro Rockstar Collection. And it comes in this gorgeous box. You kind of see it's got a little bit of a texture on it, slightly embossed. And yeah, I'm going to show you what's inside. What I love about Revolution is they always have like recyclable packaging. So any palettes or whatever makeup you receive, it's always wrapped in this bit of paper, which actually my cats love. So I normally give it my cats, then recycle it. It is worth saying that this is vegan and cruelty free as well. So you get two eyeshadow palettes. So the top one is the Nude Collection. I think the packaging is gorgeous for this one. And then the second is the Noir Edition palette. So that's what this one looks like. And we also get some of the Rockstar Matte Liquid Liner. So this set was £25. I have just gone on the Revolution website just to price up individually how much it would cost. And each eyeshadow palette is actually worth £14.99 and the liquid liner was £6. So that comes to nearly £36 and we paid £25 for it, which is a massive saving. So I think if you're looking at getting the eyeshadow palettes, either one, just treat yourself and get the set because it's honestly worth it. I feel like in my last few videos I've done some crazy out there makeup looks, not too crazy, but I feel like today I just want to kind of do a bit of a nude look. So I am going to do the nude edition palette, which I'm going to show you in a second. The noir palette I am going to do in my next video, it's like a part two, so stay tuned for that. So this is what the actual palette looks like, it's this gorgeous cream palette with a gold trim around the edge and slightly embossed, just slightly. It's absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this looks like a very expensive palette. Oh my goodness, these shades are stunning. Wow. So it comes with a gorgeous little mirror, which we love. This is actually not little at all. This is a pretty decent sized mirror. And then this is what the actual palette looks like. I mean, my eyes are going straight at these shades. So you get a combination of matte, shimmer, and pressed glitter. Look if you could close up. So I'm going to jump straight in, I'm just going to pop some lid primer on. So I'm going to pop the shade Playful all over my lid. I did also wash all my brushes yesterday, can you see how satisfying? So this one is the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Then I'm going to take the shade Mellow and I'm going to pop that on my outer corners and just blend it in. It is a shimmer so I'll just take this slowly. Then I'm going to take the shade Artiste which is this gorgeous shimmer and I'm going to pop this just on my inner part of my lid. I think I'm going to deepen the outer part of my lid and go in with simplicity. And then I'm going to pop the shade Eternal just on the centre of my lid. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Liberate which is this one here and I'm just going to pop this under my eye. It's just a gorgeous soft pink. I need to try these glitter shades because they look, oh my goodness, wow, look at those, oh my goodness, <laughs> wow, that is, I think 
think I need to put them on my eyelid, you know. I mean, part of us thinks I should just leave this, like, look the way it is and put some mascara on. But then part of us thinks, I don't know if I can ignore the glitter. I think what I'm going to do is, because I've kind of gone pink into, you know, like a silver kind of shade in a brown. I'm going to do a bit of glitter, but I'm going to do it very lightly. I, I can't just ignore the glitter now. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on the inside. I'm honestly no good. I was like, yeah, I'll do a nude look. A nude look with glitter. Oh, I just, my goodness, look at that. Can you see that? And then I'm gonna pop like a light dust in the couture, just on the outer part of my lid. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Halo and just pop that on my inner corners. So I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So this is the look finished. I did kind of bring the glitter, the gold glitter, a little bit further across just so that there wasn't kind of a gap where there was no glitter because I'm not about that life. <laughs> so this is what the eyeshadow looks like. Honestly, I am in love with this palette. Like, I actually am. I love it so much. For me, I love in like a nude. So I love like a very baby pink, very pale pink, or like a gorgeous like brown, like a nude brown. And I wear that every day. So this palette is a dream. And the fact that it's got glitter in there as well. I mean, like I say, I love how I said that I was doing a nude look and then I ended up putting glitter on, but it is what it is. If you are looking for an everyday palette, I would highly recommend because there's that many different nude shades in here, but there's also some gorgeous like shimmers that you can just pop on top of a base shade. And like I say, the two pressed glitters are stunning, like really stunning. Definitely put a primer down if you're gonna use the pressed glitter. I do feel like mine went on no problem, but I do feel like if I didn't have a primer on, then potentially it might just fall out quite literally. I did use my foundation brush and just brushed away any fallout. I mean, there was like the tiniest bit of fallout. So yeah, so I'm really impressed with that. And yeah, like I say, just stunning nude look. Like I say, stay tuned for part two and I'll be doing the Noir eyeshadow palette as well. I feel like that's gonna be a little bit more out there of a look. I will pop everything in the description that I've used just in case you wanna check anything out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like I say, I would definitely recommend the palette. I will also say the pigment is strong in all the shades as well. I mean, that goes without saying. It's revolution. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video for part two. Bye!